This is Possibility Thursday, everyone. And uh, for those of you that are new, we host these every Thursday evening. Um, we do an alternate Thursday where we teach skilling up for the business. And for everyone that doesn't know me, my name is Joanne Nistico, and I'm a Shackley Master Coordinator, as is Carolyn Whiteman, who was on the screen there. We're happy that you've joined us tonight because at this time, we are all sort of concerned with heightened uh, situations regarding people's health and regarding people's income. So the reason I started the Thursday possibility was because I knew that I, we had a message that we could share with a lot of people. Uh, I asked uh, Colleen and Julie to be the, one of the first people to speak, featuring the Sherba organization, and we're discussing family legacy. So tonight is an opportunity or possibility night. Uh, we, can, we can offer people choices, choices for a different lifestyle, choices for better health, choices for um, sharing it with friends and also helping people, giving them some hope. And that's the most important thing. I don't know a lot of the new people on tonight. I'm not sure if you know anything about the Shackley model or the products, but uh, this evening isn't necessarily so much about specific products as sharing stories. So I'm going to uh, continue and, and move forward just a little bit until Roger is able to get on. Um, right here is one thing to know is that there's an organization lineage in Shackley. Uh, we are a network marketing business, which I fell in love with many years ago. I thought, well, wow, this is fabulous. I can multiply myself all over the country without having to finance it. And yet health was also a very big reason I got involved because my father died of obesity at 55 years of age. And I was a yoga teacher. So when I found Shackley through my yoga teacher, who was a purist, I was interested, but not quite sure. Um, I was introduced by someone who's no longer in the business, but we have an incredible lineage in our particular Shackley organization. Rob Loomis's mother, Mary Loomis, started the, this particular lineage, and they call themselves Organic Products Associates. He lives in Boston, Massachusetts. And he's ahead of the ten, top 10 largest organizations of Shackley. What's important to note about this particular picture here is that any of you that, we all own our own business when we, when we start. And anyone can outperform us, be larger than us in terms of their own income and business. But the fact about having three master coordinators in a lineage is very unusual. Many people don't have that kind of strength of mentoring or coaching or training to have three strong master coordinator teams above them in a lineage. And Carolyn and Nettie Whiteman, Carolyn was speaking there in Key Largo, Florida. He's a world-class fishing guide. Um, actually, Rob is an attorney, um, in, and uh, he's an attorney, and he's also who has a doctorate in Carolyn, what's his doctorate in? I can't, it's uh, ancient Greek. I want to say classical studies, and that may not be exactly right. I think he focused on Greek, uh, right. know, Greece and classical studies. So, and Carolyn was initially in the Peace Corps. And when she came back, she realized that the environment needed help and her mother introduced her to non-toxic cleaners. So many of us backed into the business um, and then, of course, myself, uh, as a yoga teacher studying special education, realized that I loved business and really wanted to um, explore business. And with that, I'm going to introduce um, one of my sales leaders, first level sales leaders, Elaine Sherba and her Shackley organization. Now, I have a very funny story about Elaine. I never met Elaine. I didn't know who she was, but I saw that there was a lot of activity going on in Michigan, that things were happening. Some, there were, I think, six levels uh, between us, someone bringing her in. And um, I saw there was a lot of activity. So I said, called her and I said, well, I'd love to come visit you. I'd love to come help you any way that I can, give you a meeting, give you some mentoring. 
And she said, of course. So I flew into Michigan a number of years ago. And what was really interesting, I had to get into this uh, propeller plane. <laughs> propeller and only had so many seats and I was wondering where I was ending up. And I'm at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at the airport and I'm walking down the hall and I asked this woman if she uh, w where the, the baggage claim was and not knowing who this woman was but it turned out to be Elaine Sherba and I was walking right next to her so the business can develop through people that know people that know people that know you that you don't know and that's basically how this whole lineage of the Michigan organization was developed Elaine has been an outstanding leader. She walks her talk, she's fabulous on nutrition, and she raised three beautiful children uh, healthily um, with the decision and the focus on making sure that their family was healthy. So she really believed in the Shackley philosophy. The Colleen DeGainer line is really only one line of lineage of um, Elaine's. And Elaine is very well poised to become a key, key coordinator this year, possibly uh, this year or definitely next year with the way her organization is growing. And that's one of the higher ranks in Shackley for leadership. But she has Maxine Keeler, uh, Linda Patrick, and Mary Beth Patrickus. And Mary Beth has some lineage under her, you can see on the far right side here is Mary Beth and she's on the call. But we're gonna to focus tonight specifically on uh, Colleen DeGainer and her lineage. So I'm gonna turn it over to Colleen and we're gonna get that beautiful slide up there. Uh, so Colleen, welcome with your family tree here. You wanna share some of your information. I do, thank you, Joanne. It was great to, great to hear from Roger. Mm -hmm. Nice job getting him on the call tonight. And thank you for inviting our team. We are delighted to be on this call this evening and, and excited to share the momentum that we've been experiencing, much like Roger talked about. And I'd like to welcome our team and just point out um, the people on the, on the slide and say where they're from. My mom, of course, is my um, upline, Elaine Sherba. And our family and my mom and then also Mandy, we are all in Michigan. Julie Keating, she is in South Carolina. And actually and Amy off to the right, she's about a mile from me, she's in Michigan as well. And then Mary Kay is in California tonight but moving to Florida tomorrow. She's had a, she's had a full week. And then Julie and Sonia and Angela are all in California as well. So we have, we have a diverse team that you can see is spread across the country and it's really, it's really been fun and we're growing and it's an exciting time to be in Shackley. And I think you have a picture. Do you want to flip to the next one, Joanne? Of uh, the family? Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. well, that's towards the end. But let oh, me... is it? Okay, that's all right. Yeah. Why, why don't you share a little bit of your story, um, Colin? Yeah. What really... I know your mom, of course, built the Shackley business and you saw it as a, as a kid, but what, what led you to actually, I know you've been a good product consumer, so what led you to the business and what, what do you see uh, happening? Yeah, well, and I, I actually came in through the products as well. I, I, I grew up on them and my mom started her business when I, when I was really young and she came into the business with the products as well, because she had some health challenges when she delivered my sister and me. And I, I was thinking about this the other day, but I am incredibly thankful for the person who shared, who shared Shackley with her. I, I love the products and I love the products because they work. And the top two reasons for me personally is they give me energy and they really strengthen my immune system. And thinking about the, current health crisis, I am really grateful that we have access to Shackley's wonderful immune products for, for me and my family. And I, Joanne, I never considered Shackley as a business for myself. It was always something that my mom shared, something that she did. But in 2010, after we returned from living in Europe, 
we had small children and I knew that I wanted to stay home and the products had worked so well for our family over the years. It was, it was actually really easy to share the products with other people. And at that point, my Shackley business was launched. And as I, as I started to grow my business, however, I, I quickly discovered that I desperately needed some personal development. I, I was actually afraid to speak on conference calls and those were voice only. We didn't, it wasn't even Zoom back then, right? Yeah. So what did I do? Um, I dove into personal development books. I listened to personal development tapes. It was, it was tapes at that time. I did things like join Toastmasters, which helps improve public speaking, helps with communication and confidence. And I joined BNI, which is a business networking group, and that really, that really stretched me. And then I also jumped on conference calls to learn more about Shackley products and the business, and that helped me to practice, practice speaking. And Joanne, you actually asked me recently, why, why do I continue with the Shackley business? What is it that I, I see? And really, there's a couple different things. One, I, I have a passion for health. I really, I really enjoy inspire, inspiring others to live healthier lives. And a lot of us on this call know that having a healthy lifestyle and quality supplementation can, can make a significant difference in somebody's life. And I also continue the business because I really enjoy helping create a revenue stream for others. That is, that's a really rewarding aspect of the Shackley business for me. And also I'm, I'm building for the future, right? I mean, this fall, one of our daughters will be off to university and the second is not too far behind. And eventually I will be able to invest even more time into my business. And lastly, why I continue with the business, and this is something that I never even considered when I launched my business, but I'm able to contribute to a revenue stream for my mom. My mom has received a paycheck every month for 40 years. And as she gets older, the paycheck keeps getting larger and larger. And I, and Julie and I were talking about this earlier. I, I love being a part of that. That's, that's amazing. The, the possibilities in Shackley are available to anyone at, at any age. That, that's really the message there. And when I think about the past, the present, and the future, the past for me, it was really a decision to start my business and to invest in myself personally because I needed, I needed personal development. And then also the willingness to be mentored, which you've done a great job over the years, Joanne. Um, we have some really great leaders on our, on our team. And for the present, it's continu continuing to be mentored and then also helping uh, mentoring others. And then for the future for me, it's preparing to inherit my mom's business. And one day our children will inherit what she and I have collectively built. And that's, that's really exciting to think about passing on our legacy in that way. And the, I guess the final thought that I wanted to share is I really have built my business over time and life has hit, Life's, life has happened and it, and it does, right? But my business has not only survived, but it's, it's thrived. And I had some really um, tough time constraints in 2018 and 2019 and I wasn't able to spend the time on my business that I wanted to. But, because of the preparation I had done and the time spent investing in relationships, both with leaders and customers, my business not only sustained itself, but it actually, it actually grew. And it also grew because we had, we had started building in depth and we, and that really speaks directly to the great leaders that we have on our team. So I'm, I'm grateful. I'm grateful for that for sure. And I would say that I, I couldn't do any of what I do and do it well without the support of my husband, John. He, he is a gift in many ways. And regarding the Shackley business, I'm, I'm thankful for his continuous support, his strategic thinking, his willingness to be a sounding board, and really the fact that he doesn't hold me back. He, he is my biggest cheerleader, for sure. And... With all of that, I can say I have the pleasure now of introducing my husband, John, and grateful that he's here tonight, and he's going to share a few thoughts with us. 
No comments, Joanne? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm biting my tongue, John. <laughs> so for everybody on the phone that I haven't had a chance to meet or on the Zoom call that I haven't had a chance to meet, uh, good evening. Um, you know, for me, let's talk a little bit about what Shackley means to me. First and foremost, it, it's a source, source of health and, that, and that's well documented. Um, it's well documented in what Roger said, but I would tell you, I, other than the last eight weeks, I spent a tremendous amount of time traveling internationally and a tremendous amount of time on an airplane. And I'm absolutely convinced that without the health aspect of Shackley, I'm not in the, I'm not in the same state that I'm in today. Um, so that's, that's not just the supplements. It's not just the, the protein shakes. It's also the cleaners. It's also the fact that our house is scent free, but it, tonight is about the business. So this, this business is a source of fulfillment, obviously for Colleen, but for the entire family. Um, any of you that have met any of the Sherbas will understand that that is a competitive group of people. <laughs> and uh, the DeGainer family is also a family that kind of likes to win on a lot of different ways. So this is a chance through Shackley, an opportunity to build something, an opportunity to create something. And you know, one of my greatest pleasures is to hear Colleen say, we had another record month as she runs around the house cheering. So that, that, that's an aspect, it's an opportunity when there's a lot of bad news in the world, it's an opportunity to have something that can provide fulfillment and, and an external measure of progress. It's a source of flexibility. Uh, you can, Colleen talked about the fact that in 2018 and 19, she didn't have the same amount of time. It's an opportunity to build a business and it's an opportunity to do it on your own schedule. And um, I've spent my entire career in the corporate world and it's not quite so flexible. So this is, this is a great thing about Shackley is it gives Colleen the chance to build a business, it gives our family a chance to build a business, but it really gives Colleen a chance to build a business in a flexible way. I would say one thing, you, you see the picture up there and we have two wonderful daughters. It's also been a source of education for our girls. Um, a source of taking what you see on Shark Tank and turning it into reality with regard to what entrepreneurship really means. And having an understanding of what developing an organization really means and what teamwork and what also self-development. Um, Colleen gets a chance to demonstrate that and model that and the girls see that. And, um, you know, all, all we as parents could ever want is for our girls to be successful, our children to be successful, but our girls to be successful. And the best way to do that is to model it. And the, the Shackley business has allowed that to happen and allowed Colleen to model that in a way. And then the, then the last thing for me, you know, just from the benefits is really a, a source of diversification of income. Roger talked about it. And <clears throat> as you think about what's the world is going through right now with regard to this, this current crisis, I would say all five of those issues, health, fulfillment, flexibility, education, and diversification of income, all of those couldn't be more poignantly highlighted than what we're seeing right now. And so as you're, as you're trying to make some decisions, for those of you who are interested in the business or growing the business, you're trying to make some decisions, this crisis highlights in many ways why a, a, either a supplemental business or a focused business uh, like this is, becomes so valuable. Um, what's my role? I'm there to support. And for the spouses on the phone, I would, I would just remind you that there are going to be days when starting is hard. Finding those first, uh, finding those first, that next downline, and finding the people that want to help you build a team. It's hard. So, as a spouse, how you how how you provide the the support for your spouse and be part of that team is is important. Um, I'm there to be an example. Uh, for the guys in the on the phone, it, our our job is to as much to be as an example and to live out the products and live out live out the business and be able to talk to others about the impact that it has. Yes, it's a multi level marketing activity, but there's there's something of real value at the base of this, which is why you do it. 
And then I'm also there to be a partner as needed, when needed. Um, honey, what do you think about this? Here's what we're trying to do and how to, how to balance it. And that's, and that's the role I play. And fourth, and finally, I'm there to be a source of comedic relief for Joanne whenever <laughs> she needs it. Uh, so, uh, so, you know, I guess, I guess where I would leave this is we talk about in the company that, I, that I'm in every day, never let a good crisis go to waste. And the, for those on the phone, I, I would say the same thing. Never let a good crisis go to waste. This, the, the, the opportunity in this business and the opportunity with this product family, um, I've seen a lot of different things. And, and this, is the, this is something that really, particularly as you think about it, in what this crisis means. And, and Carolyn, what, what you were talking about with the feedback coming out of, uh, out of Davos, uh, if not this, what? And if not now, when? So with that, um, I'm glad to be here and uh, I'll turn it back over to Colleen and Joanne. Okay, well, thank you, John. Um, yes, John, you are a good comedic relief for me as well. <laughs> uh, how I met John was on a, a Shackley incentive trip and we were, we were in the pool with his daughters playing ball and he is competitive. I mean, I couldn't believe he's competitive with a silly little ball in the pool with two daughters. <laughs> I mean, really, how competitive can you get? But we beat him. We beat him. That was really good. And I like to win. So anytime I can beat John DeGainer at a silly little game in the pool is, is always fun for me. And thank you, John, for being on tonight. You know, it's kind of a, talk about crisis, taking advantage of a crisis situation. We get to have all the men on the Zoom event because they're home. And that's yes. wonderful because we don't get to see a lot of you because uh, you're always working and, and uh, have other things to do. So we appreciate each and every one of you joining your wives here tonight. Thank you. That is Carolyn. And I wonder if you would mind just saying a little bit more about what your your other life, your professional life is all of that global travel. Okay. <laughs> um, as much or as little as you choose, but I think, I think people would like to, like to know. Sure, Carolyn. For, for those who, uh, who I have not had a chance to meet, um, I am the president and CEO of a public company called Stone Ridge. Uh, it's a global company uh, where we work in the transportation space. And so, we have facilities around the world um, and it's you know it's one of the, it's an opportunity it's completely different business than Shapley's business but what you realize when you're trying to build a business and when you're trying to transform a business is it's about people it's about the quality of the product it's about teamwork it's about focus and so the things that we do at Stone Ridge, the company that I run, what we make is different, but the, the, folk, the things that we talk about here in what's gonna make a successful business as part, of the, as part of Shackley, it's not different. You, you gotta find the right people, you gotta build a team, you gotta, you gotta lay out a vision and make sure that, you, that you're driving those things in the right way. And, and that's, that's what I do every day. And that's what Colleen is trying to do with her organization as well. I think we have a lot more fun, though. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> oh, it's so serious. Um, and it's wonderful. And it's so appreciated, of course. And I know Roger, uh, Roger was actually saying on, at the Masters, he said, I admire all of you so much because I'm now working at home. And how have you done it? with all the kids running around and everything else happening and you can keep a focus going. And I guess that's, that's what mothers do. Um, so it, it is, a, we do have a good time Oops, doing it as well. And I'm going to turn it over now to um, one of our major speakers, uh, Julie Keating and her husband, Don are here and Julie's business has really taken off this year. Uh, and again, it's a family legacy family message and it's really exciting. So Julie, I'm gonna turn it over to you. Okay, thank you. Hi everybody. This is my husband, Don. I think um, many of you have met him. 
And I have to give a shout out to my kids that are on the call supporting me. And, um, and of course, all the team members and those of you that I've met and those of you that I haven't met, I'm looking forward to that. But I came into Shackley about 10 years ago. And honestly, it was a season when I desperately needed health. Um, I was um, at a place of homeschooling five children, ages four to 12. And I was just at a place of being wired and tired. We were in ministry leadership, walking through a church split. We had business endeavors that actually just blew up. <laughs> my husband lost his job and let me say it was a perfect storm. Stress was peak and my body literally crashed. Um, truly the worst season of my life. I had extreme fatigue, insomnia, mental fog. I could barely get out of bed. Had all these babies around. I couldn't even fold laundry, couldn't make dinner, couldn't do anything. And I had a incredibly supportive husband who loved me through it and um, and um, just walked right beside me. So I was going through the motions of life, surviving barely. And you know, they say motherhood is definitely about dying to self, but I truly felt like I was dying. And it was, it, there was that, that um, undertone in my family that we were all very scared of what was going on. So it makes me, it's hard to talk about. It was, um, but anyway, um, so Don decided we need to put the kids in school and we need to figure out what's wrong with me. And so they went to Christian school. I ended up working part-time to help with the tuition. And my other part-time job was going from doctor to doctor, trying to figure out what was, what was wrong and um, truly being raised with a passion for health and holistic approaches to sickness went that route, ex you know, spent a whole lot of money going to the best renowned doctors in the country that happened to be in Michigan. And, um, and then, then I also went to traditional medicine as well, just really trying to find some answers. And th all they could say was, oh, honey, you have depression. And I was like, well, duh, <laughs> but what is the cause? You know, what was going on with my body? And so um, a holistic um, arena would label it as adrenal exhaustion, just that high stress and um, tired, couldn't sleep, and just truly a hot mess. And hot is an exaggeration. <laughs> so... Um, it was in this time that I met Colleen. We put the kids in school and our kids were in class, uh, same class together and our friendship grew and she was, um, she shared Shackley with me and she, she told me that she could guarantee that I could feel better. And honestly, I, I loved Colleen. I didn't believe that though. And um, I was spending a whole lot of money and I really was trusting the path that I was on, honestly, because I was desperate and I needed to, and they were the experts. Um, so, but at, because I liked her, I thought, well, I'll try the cleaning products. And um, then I, one by one, switched over some things. And so it was the protein that I saw the immediate result in my health. Um, I, re I remember telling one doctor that, oh, you know, I'm feeling so much better. I'm taking this protein. And, and this lady, she just le reached over and just said, honey, you need to sell that white powder, whatever it is. <laughs> you know? So um, I, we call it the white powder. So the protein powder really made a difference. And I'd love to say that my health just automatically turned around. It, it didn't. It was, it's been a slow, slow process. Um, but it was in the season that... Um, Colleen saw more for me and my health wasn't perfect, but to my surprise, it was my story that was able to help many others and it grew my business. My goal honestly was to feel good, just to get through the day and Colleen saw the possibilities in Shackley for me long before I did. She helped me develop a business that started paying me long before I could see or appreciate the opportunities. My first goal was to help get my products paid for. And honestly, if I just did that, I would have been, I would have been completely fine. Um, honestly, that was as far as I could even imagine or dream. So um, as our friendship grew, we realized and we saw early on that our talents and gifts really complemented each other and we had a lot of fun working together. And so we did many events and parties sharing the message of health she was sharing the message of health. I was going along with her because I wasn't at that place yet. <laughs> um, 
Um, but it was fun bringing people together and creating a Shackley community around us. And it's been 10 years and my health, I would say is nearly restored. I have to work hard at staying, staying healthy to make the right decisions. Um, and Shackley sure helps with that. And just being in this business helps with that. It offers accountability and just great community. And I, I am thankful for that. It keeps me inspired. So it was after that, that my, um, my family saw a difference. My mom became my biggest cheerleader uh, right behind Don. He always saw that Shackley was a great fit for me. And, um, and then slowly but surely, when you believe in something and people were seeing a difference in your life, you can't help but talk about it. And people were asking me and I was able to share with them. And before I knew it, I had, I had built a business long before, like I said, I, I saw it. And so it certainly for me wasn't fast cash, but again, that's not why I was in it. And um, I have come to appreciate the slow and steady growth in my business. And um, there's just so many benefits to being in this type of business. So I get that's, the, I that's the really what you could handle too at that time. Yeah. Yes. With slow and steady. I mean, everybody saw your talent uh, yet. In your, in, in your own sweet time was what was needed. And I had a lot of other things on my plate too. And, um, and so I was only able to give Shackley what I could give. And um, I am thankful for that slow and steady. And now I'm at a place that I have a lot more margin. My kids are older and we moved. All those responsibilities have been cleared off my plate and been able to really put on my plate what we really feel is important. And, and Shackley has just exploded. And honestly, and, and, and it really, you know, let's, uh, let's hear the, where the explosion occurred, because I think that's a really great part of your story too, is, you know, with your sister and, and mm. her background. Yes. Yes. So, um, Yes, my sister came on board. I had Amy, who was working with me. We had, she's a business leader, a dear friend in Michigan, and worked with her. And we had a lot of fun together. We've been friends for 25 years. And she's a type 1 diabetic and loves Shackley, saw the difference in her life and connected me. And so been working with her, helped working with her to build a business. And that's been an act actually really fun. I see great things for Amy in, in Shackley. And then my sister was in full-time ministry and saw herself a few years ago, saw herself transitioning out and thinking about what next. And like I said, we were raised with a passion for health. She is, um, she is a learner, a researcher, great at connecting with people and coaching people, advising people. I mean, it's, she's been in ministry her whole life. And so she was, was thinking ahead and for this time when they would be transitioning, which is actually tomorrow, that they are leaving full-time ministry and going um, to Florida to start this new season of their life. But she has set herself up. She became a certified health coach, studied very hard for that, and studies far more than what any curriculum could offer. She is just a true learner. And what that does for people like me and other people that follow her, is um, we, we trust her. She does a lot of the research and she puts it in simple terms and she's created a business. It's MK Shine and she does videos about educating and helping people in their health. She, she patented the Delish Talks. It's a seven day, a five day Delish Talks. And then she has an Own It program and a Live It program, a 30 day program. So she has really, her, her business has exploded. At the very beginning, she brought in the protein shake and wasn't real sure how to, how to couple Shackley with her business. And over time, and just encouragement by people that were using Shackley and just seeing great results, it has become really a, a huge part of her business. And unshamingly, she recommends Shackley to her customers and has a huge customer following. She's a rock star in Shackley. She is a top producer in, in, um, in Shackley. And and then brought on her mentor and coach, strategic partner, Julie Landy, and um, who had a great 
positive voice in building her business. And, and so it's just a privilege to bring Julie on. She, she's a strategic thinker, a, vi a visionary, an astute businesswoman, and saw the benefit, sees the benefit of having multiple revenue streams. And she's coaching women. And so, of course, she's going to share that wisdom with other women. And so her business will and is taking off. So, and then, of course, we have Sonia and Angela here. Yes. And I know Sonia has been one of her first people yes. who saw the vision for what Mary Kay was doing. And, and Sonia, what's Sonia's background? Yes, I, Sonia is, I love her. Hi, Sonia. <laughs> uh, she, I, she is a cancer survivor. And she was a client of Mary Kay's. And she experienced firsthand the benefits of using Shackley. And she truly has a passion for health because of her own walk. She is an influential voice in the Latin community. And she has, is using her love of organic eating, gardening, and teaching others and, um, and introducing Shackley. So um, truly, she- One of the things that Roger did mention, I don't mean to interrupt, but no. Roger is putting together a big Hispanic push for, and has brought in a, a, a world-class leader to, lead the yes. Hispanic community. I don't know if he shared that on any of the leadership calls, um, but he did with the masters and that's coming up. So Sonia, you're in for some really good support. Um, and we, uh, we have other Spanish speaking uh, organizations on our gen team. So we look forward to really helping and contribute the growth of that community, which is quite large. So that's yes, fabulous. Yes. And, and then the large voice in it, yes. And then of course we have Angela. Yes, and Angela is my niece. And so that's Mary Kay's daughter-in-law. And so that's been a, a true privilege to um, work with her in Shackley. And I, what I love about Shackley is when you're helping people build their businesses, you're really just doing life with them. And you're helping them to see their gifts and talents and, and pulling things out in, the, in them. And, helping them to partner that with Shackley. So that's been such a joy to work with Angela. She is a hairstylist by profession, an amazing hairstylist, which we all could use right now. Um, <laughs> profession. <laughs> yeah. And, um, and so she has an inside out beauty message, beauty on the inside and out. And so she has a solid message. She has three little ones. So she is, um, I applaud her for keeping her priorities straight. She's, definitely um, focused at home. And she also has been sharing the message of health with other families too. So it's, it's a joy to have her on the team and, and working with her. And then there's Mandy, I oh, see Mandy. Mandy there. Mandy, I love Mandy. Mandy is my daughter's friend from high school. And Mandy was introduced to Shaq. Remember I told you um, I was doing parties when I first was, got into Shackley, well, I did a mother-daughter event at my house and my friend Holly, which is her mother, and Mandy came and we just talked about the basics of nutrition and health and I served Shackley shakes and um, I think Mandy wanted some skin support, worked with her on that. She's been using Shackley since she's been in high school and loves the products and then reached out to me and said, hey, I, I'm thinking about, you know, doing more with Shackley. So it has been a joy to work with her. She is disciplined, a go-getter, a people person, and she's in healthcare. And honestly, she, she sees Shackley as a way to stay home with her children. And she just recently married. Hi, Evan, if you're on the phone or on the call. And, um, and she's just um, doing great things. She has a bright, fu bright future in, in Shackley. So that's been really fun. Well, you know, this has been great to get to know everyone and what a special occasion it is to have the whole yeah. uh, family lineage here. Uh, we are recording tonight, so this is going to be available uh, for those to review who couldn't make it. And we have some time. What I'd like to do is maybe hear a little bit from Mary Kay if we can bring her in. Um, we haven't planned anything for her. She might be off now because they're doing dinner. Is that what she said? So. Um, Let's see who else is on with your team that we can hear from. Um, is Julie Landion still on? Julie, you on? Julie, would you, just, would you just share with the team? Because it's what I love about 
our business is, and it can be additionally, because for example, Gary Mendelson there, he's a doctor of audiology, has two doctorates, and you know, he has a fifth degree black belt, he just came back in, but many of us have varied backgrounds um, that, and Shackley is an addition to whatever else we might do. So would you just share a little bit on your, your new distributor? Mm-hmm. And what is your prof profession right now? What are you, your full-time profession? Uh, well, I help women transition from one profession to another, business coaching, pretty much. So that's how I started working with Mary Kay. I mean, I know her from our spiritual backgrounds, but I started helping her build her business before Shackley was kind of the too much a part of it. And so we built it out all these different layers and then Shackley was a natural fit for it. And then I kept on referring people to her. Well, obviously I did her program cause I like to test all of my clients. I have like 30 different clients that I'm working with at any given time, take something, a concept from scratch to legitimate business. And so they're, you know, I love to, I have to try their stuff, of course. So I had to try Mary Kay's stuff and her stuff is her Delish Talks. So I did her Delish Talks along with her Shackley products. And that was like a year or so ago. And so my whole family now uses Shackley. My teenage daughter, well, she's not teen, she's 20. I have a 20 and 23 year old too. But, uh, you know, I just was like, I kept on coaching her about how, how this is such an obvious, you, you need to have multiple streams of income. Of course you do. This is what all successful people do. And so this, you don't leave that behind or don't leave that out. So of course, the funny thing is, the joke is that I was just kept on referring people to her for help, for health coaching and for, to help her in, in her business and things like that. And she kind of just looked at me one day and just said, why are you keep giving me all these people? Why don't you do it too? And I was like, of course, that's a brilliant idea. I just didn't want to step on your toes. So anyway, since that time, I like, since that time, like last month, I signed up. <laughs> yeah. Since that time, I got that light bulb that went on. And uh, just started with that. And then Christy, who's here on the phone with me too, is also uh, a health coach. And then I have another health coach. Well, Christy said husband needed a heart transplant, was on the heart transplant list last year. And so she's just an amazing testimony about health, but she's got a cooking show and a cooking channel. And it just was a natural dovetail fit for her. So all of my health people in, in the health world, I feel obligated. I, 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 as I said to you before, Joanne, I, I would feel remiss as their business coach not recommending it as an additional stream of income. And so, you know, it just seems like it's the right and responsible thing to do. And it, as since we built Mary Kay's program out together, I know how naturally it fits in for these people in that particular industry. And so I have about five or six of them in that industry. And so I'm looking forward to that. We have another one, Socorro, who's a registered dietitian. And I was so pleased to hear about the Latin community because she's Hispanic and uh, bilingual. She has all her programs, all her health programs are both in English and Spanish. And she's just a, got a very influential voice in the Spanish community too. So. Yeah, they haven't, they're ready to launch it. I mean, it's coming out and Roger, of course, is very networked. And I, I, I didn't, don't have I, her name written down, but apparently she's heads up UNICEF and uh, her husband has one of the largest businesses in the world on some levels. I'm not one for details, everybody, so bear with me, but <laughs> I get the drift um, and I know how to build an organization. And what I do say is what's so interesting about building this business, some of the top three elements are, one is you don't have to be perfect. Two, you can have people in your organization that are better educated than you. So I, I fit two of those top three and i even fit the third one probably as well but christy um what would be nice is we love to find out and and get information so you have you're, you're on the radio is that what i heard or you have a cookbook and all sorts of things you wanted to share well, a little bit sure um actually so my husband last year was on uh he was in the hospital for a long period of time and um, they were going to put him on the heart transplant list. And so when we were discharged, they do like a cardiac rehab kind of thing. And it was all about low sodium and all of that. And my, our history is we both have lost a hundred pounds over the years. And um, so I took all of the things I learned when we lost that weight and transitioned it, transitioned it into a low sodium focus. 
So my goal and, and what I've been working with Julie with is creating um, like low sodium cooking classes and ways to help congestive heart failure patients transition into a way that they can live a heart healthy lifestyle without missing out on traveling or going out or whatever. And then a second side of that is I had a headache for about 12 years, nine to nine to 12 years, I don't remember. And I started taking supplements and no doctors, no Botox, no anything could get rid of my headaches, but the supplements did. So when I started working with Julie and I started talking to Mary Kay and I learned about Shackley, I started transitioning from the supplements that I was taking to Shackley to help um, keep my headaches at bay. And I haven't had them since. So Wonderful. it's kind of twofold. I see it as you know, the heart side of it, but I also see it as the, the headache side of it. And I mean, I've been to every doctor under the sun and nobody could get rid of the, the headaches until I started taking supplements. So I'm a very strong proponent of that holistic way of, of healing yourself when the, you know, more mainstream traditional way does not work. So I kind of come at it from two sides. So I'm really excited about being a part of this community and sharing with people because people were always like, what supplements do you take? And when I would give them the laundry list, they were so overwhelmed. <laughs> and now I can say, hey, there's this great strip that you can take. And I don't have to go through the laundry list of supplements that I took to get rid of my headaches. So I it, encourage it, everyone to go at a hundred pounds. I applaud you. You know, my, as I said, my dad died of obesity at 55. He was pushing almost 400 pounds. He was six six one or six two, but still he was a huge man, and he sh could have had a long life if he'd taken care of it. So I'm very passionate about health as well. But I encourage everyone that has an interest in really building a business to be at the uh, virtual conference because there's going to be some really outstanding product announcements, new product announcements uh, that they've been working on and researching that we can't. We're we're sworn to secrecy. We're not allowed to say what it is. Um, so, but I would be there uh, at the virtual. Plus what's so nice is now you don't have to pay for the hotel. You don't have to pay for the uh, travel and airfare and you can, spouses can be with you in the same room and watch it. And so I think it's a really win time for uh, the conference uh, being this way. Carolyn, you wanna add anything after you've heard all these fabulous people? I am just, um, I am so, I think all of us should be so honored to be a part of the stories that we're, that we've just heard. And I think what I would like to say is the power of being willing to tell your own story because all of you have shared the fact that you simply told your story to someone, but look at the impact that it's made on people's lives. And then if you back that up and you go from Colleen and John, and then we go to Elaine, and I don't know if you remembered hearing at the beginning, but as Joanne said, there were probably like six or eight people between Joanne and Elaine that had told a story, told a story, told a story. But those people are like nowhere around. But look at the impact that has made and then you add the additional generations that joanne and i get to be a part of the power of the story that we get to tell is so it's it's just so moving and i think what it does is it brings us to the three simple things you get to do to create a business number one become a fan of the products get the product results number two be willing to tell your story and then number three just be willing to invite people to take a look at the possibilities that they could create financially emotionally family-wise and so on i mean this is not too complicated a business if we just simply do that but i'm just so i'm so moved by all of put out a fourth though too because which is the third thing that I could add to my resume is quitting is not an option. Mm -hmm. And really the only reason 
you know, I mean, there were times when I thought, what are you doing? Or I had an uncle who said to me, why don't you go get a real job? Because they never saw me going to work. And until his name was Joe Nistico, mine's Joanne, and he opened up one of my bonus checks. And then he realized that I actually was doing something, even though I didn't look like I was doing anything. So, you know, it, it's really, it's an interesting profession, and I've made it a career, a full-time career. I was a single mom, supported myself and my two children solely on Shackley, and had no alimony or child support. That's the kind of business and career income that you can develop if you choose to. And I chose to because it is fun for me and I love what I do. Joanne, can I just add one more thing that's a visual for people just with this picture. I was first introduced to the business when I was in Santa Monica, California. I moved to Florida. I connected with Joanne when she was in Washington, DC through all those different other connections Joanne connected with Elaine in Michigan, which has brought this whole Michigan group, which then has South Carolina coming back to Florida, still in California. It just gives us an idea of there are no limits. And we never know where when someone touches us, where it's going to go. So I'm just, I'm honored to be a part of this. And thanks, you guys. Well, thank you very much, all the guest speakers, and I'll even include John in that one. Thank you, John. Um, You're so gracious. I know, I know. <laughs> I just have to have to bother you every once in a while, so I'll text John and just to annoy him. Uh, for some reason, he he has that personality. <laughs> anyway, all kidding aside, thank you all so very much for joining us. We do like to end on time. We can stay on for those that just want to stay on and chat. It's not necessary. We do have people that like to um, continue uh, uh, conversation. Um, we'll stay on. I don't, well, it's actually nine o'clock now. So I, I think what we'll do is we'll just end tonight because we've kind of gone over. Uh, normally we go 45 minutes um, in the program. So I think we'll say good night. Thanks for, thanks for coming, everybody. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.